Have you ever wondered how is life like once you recover? You may be experiencing really debilitating symptoms right now and you're looking forward to anxiety recovery as an end goal. You're really hoping that once you get out of this, life is good and how life really looks like. So in this video, I'm gonna really share a little bit more about my experiences. Again, it's something I don't really like sharing because this channel is about you and it's about your recovery journey but I can share with you how life is like post recovery and what that really means because I think a lot of people have mis misconceptions about that. So when I was going through anxiety, I had different phases. When I first fell in, I was like, okay, this may would just take a couple of weeks or whatever it is, and I'll just go back to living after that. Going back, you know, carefree, healthy. And I'd never even been sick for that long before. And what happened was as anxiety was staying longer, I started losing more and more hope. And I was like, oh God, what if I can't get out of this? Oh my God, what if this is my life forever? Oh my God, like, what if I can't like just even have a normal life? And anxiety had beaten me down so low that the fact of even living normally sounded too good to be true. Honestly, it wasn't just about like living with the symptoms and stuff like that. I just didn't know how I was going to be able to navigate in the world. Like, was I going to rely on my parents and my family for the rest of my life? Was I going to be able to get a job? What kind of job could I handle? Would it be a job that would be able to provide for myself? Was there an opportunity of possibly having a family in the future? These were the things I was thinking about because I was literally unsure if that was even a possibility. And sometimes I didn't want to think about it because again, it made me really sad thinking about it. And as I went through the recovery journey, as I came out, as I've been out for a while, there's a lot of things looking back that I really thought were impossible in my recovery journey, but were actually totally possible. I always talk about in my recovery and, I, and I've said it on these videos multiple times that for me, just getting out was good enough. Like if I could just get out and live somewhat of a normal life, that would have been a dream come true. And it's pretty amazing. I always feel like anxiety gives you more than it takes away. See, like anxiety for me took everything away, right? Everything I'd built up to, I was young, I didn't build up to a lot, but I had pretty good, I had a really good education. I was living in a, in a cool city, I had a great apartment. Uh, I was making, I was making good money and then anxiety stripped everything away. And one of the things I felt like it really stripped away that I always took for granted was my health, right? Especially when you're in your young twenties or even like just being younger, you take those things for granted. And I remember thinking back, I'm like, if I can get out of this, I will never take that for granted again. And my major focus was just, can I get better? Can I just get good enough? Because again, anxiety had beaten me so low. Now, one of the, one of the things that this channel does is that it shows you that recovery is possible. So what I find is a lot of people's expectations now are really high, which is fine because those expectations are achievable. But I was never at that state. I would never thought like there was nothing out there that was relevant that talked about recovery to this level. People just talked about anxiety is just something you can cope or manage. Oh, you can't make anxiety go away. Like anxiety is an emotion. Yeah, you're always gonna have to deal with this. That was the, that was the noise I was hearing. And as I've recovered, what I find was not only did I get a normal life, without any of these like symptoms, nothing like that. But it gave me more, right? It gave me purpose. It gave me more meaning into why I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't, I would have never been in this space had I fallen into the cycle. And so this mental health space wasn't ever anything I was really, I was interested in as a hobby, but I was never had this, I never had this idea that I wanted to help people overcome anxiety. My biggest concern was, can I just get out? And you may be having that fear too. You may be having this concern of you not being able to get out. And as somebody who's just a few steps ahead of you, I will tell you, 
all of this can go away and you can go back to living fully and freely. Look, this channel is not about hope. This channel is actually about education. Education and empowerment. This isn't a motivational channel to make you feel better. This is honestly the truth. The truth is recovery isn't like this glamorous thing where you hit a finish line and life is good. I actually deal with more stressors than I probably ever had in my life. <laughs> but experiencing stressors is different than being stressed out. And when I was struggling with anxiety, it's very interesting because I was experiencing a lot of physical symptoms, intrusive thoughts that were 24 seven that were internal. And now I don't experience internal stressors, it's external stressors. And what's interesting about external stressors is that external stressors, unlike the internal ones, you actually don't have so much control over. I know that sounds very weird, but your ability to respond to your anxiety and you coming out is 100% within your control. If I decide to do something externally, there's a lot more factors in play. And so in a certain way, that makes it more stressful. And I could even, I don't know if you guys watch my videos, but if you guys have been watching my videos over the years, a couple of years, I've been getting like a lot more white hair because <laughs> of the natural stressors that I've been having. But life is a, a hundred times better. I truly enjoy what I do. And even though I have more stressors, there's not suffering. I'm not, I don't suffer like I did. When I was struggling with anxiety, I was suffering. You watching these videos, you going through anxiety, you're truly suffering. You really are. It's not like that. And life is honestly great. And while you're going through this journey, just remember, don't look at this as a finish line. Because even after the finish line, you'll still have stressors in life. Anxiety recovery doesn't mean you don't experience anxiety, right? There's a difference between anxiety as an emotion and anxiety as a state. What you're experiencing is, is a state. Why? Well, your nervous system has become hypersensitized. And because of that, you're experiencing offsets of very intense physical symptoms, intrusive thoughts, feelings of unreality, all these things. But anxiety as an emotion is part of life, right? And you will experience situations that make you stressed out and you will experience stressors in life. Recovery is not about not experiencing those things. Recovery is about dealing with emotions of anxiety, but it has its own place, just like any other emotion, just like sadness, just like anger, just like happiness, just like joy, just like pleasantness. These things have their place, but they don't dictate your life. All these things I'm talking about, you'll experience on your own, but don't try to understand the experiences while not doing the work. Focus on the work right now. Focus on regaining your freedom. Focus on long-term freedom. With that said, I'll see you in the next video.